Hey everyone, it's Josh, Jay Vintage on the Minis, Orlando, Florida. It's been a little while since I made my last video. Uh, so, been real busy with building bikes. I don't know if you guys understand that I actually do this as a full-time job. So, um, kind of make sure I'm paying my bills instead of making videos. But I think I'm at a point where I can make a little video here. I'm pretty excited about what this showed up. Uh, but these are a couple of little mod bikes that I've been working on. Uh, aside from building engines, I do that. Uh, you can ship them in to me and I'll mail them back out. Uh, complete restoration work, custom bike building. Um, got another bike up there. It's going to be a 69 CT. It's going to go on one of these bike racks as soon as I get this guy on its wheels. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out what showed up in the mail. Alright, so this box showed up from Thailand. Um, I think we get the idea what's probably in it from the name of the video, but... Uh, been a little bit of a process. Uh, I did have to wire a good amount of money over to a guy and trust in the process, but it seems to appear that it showed up. So we're going to open this up together and uh, take a look at the engine. It's a nice, it's a Honda Nice is the name of the bike that it came from. That's N-I-C-E. They were sold in the Asian markets, uh, so we didn't get these in the States. Um, but this engine uh, from Modders and stuff, I'm not the first to do this, uh, but this is my first nice engine that I went ahead and purchased uh, just so I could learn the platform and then kind of see, you know, what it means for me as a builder, engine builder, kind of incorporate that maybe into uh, offering building services or, you know, building bikes with these engines. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open it up and just kind of take a look at what showed up. Uh, and then I'm going to let my daughter do this, Harper. Say hi, Harper. Hi. I'm going to let her do the first initial cut. She's excited about motorcycle stuff. A couple more layers here. Okay. Cut it. Yeah, so we got a little box here out of wood, so I'm going to have to get my crowbar and we'll open it up further. Crowbar? Yeah. Thank you, Harper. Can I do the crowbar? Yeah, you can help me. an engine. The running joke was I thought I was going to get a box full of rice and then I'd be eating rice for a while, but it feels like an engine. I don't see any stray uh, rice kernels anywhere, so I think we're doing okay. Uh, need to get my blade. Where did my little razor blade go? Look, if I find it, I get it. Careful. Careful with that blade there. Mm -hmm. Let me do this. So we'll, we'll kind of go through all the little incidentals that showed up in here too. But let's get this, uh, let's get this engine out. Some uh, United States air now. Gonna look it over. All the fins, all the fins are intact here. I don't have anything broken. On the cylinder head and the, on the jug. So I did get some damage, but I'll weld that right here on the boss, unfortunately. Uh, 
nothing major, but I'll, would rather not have happened, but not the end of the world. Daddy, look. Daddy, look. Carb, got the carb with it and the manifold, but I'll be swapping that out. This is, uh, as far as the extent of any damage, uh, that casting again right here with the uh, cover that's going to cover up the chain here. Output shaft, that got, it's a clean break, so I'm going to weld that and you'll probably never see it again once it gets smoothed out. Uh, the uh, cover did take some damage too, but it's a clean break too, so that's going to be a little, that's uh, cast aluminum, so this will be able to get welded back up. Uh, unfortunately, some things got broken, uh, very minor, uh, could have been worse, so I'm happy. Uh, but we'll go over kind of uh, specifics, uh, general specifics, what, make this what makes this engine uh, desirable for uh, a higher horsepower engine or even a, just from a reliability standpoint. Uh, I mean the Honda engines uh, come in the CT70s are reliable uh, for sure, but uh, this one's built uh, to a much beefier standard. Uh, and I'll do like a comparison with an H motor next to it so you can see how wide it is. And, kind of see some aesthetic differences. So here's a quick comparison from a uh, you know, dimensional standpoint. Left side is the typical USA Honda small bore horizontal engine. This is a CT70H engine, four speed, so it's got the clutch. Uh, you just see how much wider the nice 110 is. Uh, the head design, the jug, you can definitely see the jug. It's got a lot more surface area for cooling. Uh, these are oil and air cooled engines. Um, let's see. So the clutch design on the nice is a rear clutch. You know, you got the front perch on the CT70. It's a front clutch setup. Um, let's see what else. Uh, just from uh, another standpoint, this is why these can swap in is because just like the original engines, you got your upper mount. This one's cracked. I got to repair this for a bike I'm building. And the lower mount, so upper mount, lower mount, upper mount, lower mount, and then from the frame that this came out of the bike in Asia, there must be another uh, connection point right there. Um, so just from a physical standpoint, um, just to get to the point of why you would be consider this engine, A, I want to stay with Honda engines, uh, just trying to figure out you know capabilities again I'm not the first person to even do this nice swap but uh, they are capable of handling a good amount of power way more double the power of what a CT70H engine will put out if you bore it and stroke it and put all the mod stuff that's available um, <clears throat> you can see from the wideness of the case you're gonna have uh, which it does have uh, the opportunity to put much beefier gears in um, much bigger stator system uh, so you get a lot more wattage out of this electrical system uh, the clutch uh, setup is much beefier can handle more power it's got more discs inside of it um, and then I think the head if we're looking down you can see how the you know you're gonna be able to get some more stroke out of this setup apparently you can see how the actual total overall top of the cylinder head and um, jug is looks like maybe uh, an inch or an inch and a half longer so just from a peripheral standpoint it's a wider engine it's a bigger beefier design um, again when you're swapping this in you're gonna have to consider the exhaust pipe uh, fitment you know I'll probably have to make a pipe for this and the foot pegs we're gonna have to do some changes on the foot pegs or make a foot peg because it's got to clear all the side cover stuff and, and be able to uh, give you some surface area for your feet to be on. Just give you a visual, this is what the Honda Nice looks like. It's kind of a scooter-esque looking bike. And the specifics on the engine, so it's a little under 109 cc's. It's a bore and stroke. The bore is 50 millimeters and then the stroke is 55.5 millimeters stock it's got a four-speed transmission it's not well maybe they have an automatic i'm not sure but uh it's definitely i got the manual one if they have an alternate one but these uh these bikes were made in like the 2000s i don't know how long they ran so um engine's been around for a long time enough for people to play with and 
uh, learn about its capabilities. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. Just wanted to do an unboxing. Been waiting for the nice 110 engine to show up. It's been a little while since I paid for it, so happy to see it finally make it over. Um, I'm not going to kind of I'm not going to work on this one, so there won't be a video for a little while. This is a personal uh, engine for me, so uh, probably be a little bit of a while till I even have any content on this. Uh, just been swamped, still swamped with. Uh, I do bike build. I do this full time, so I got bikes I'm building, restorations, modding bikes, uh, engine builds that I'm doing for people that ship me the engines. You can ship me an engine in the cooler and. I'll get it perfectly uh, built for you and sent right back out. Uh, I got bike haulers that run around the country, so uh, if you have any interest in getting me a bike to do work, I can figure out logistics for you in that regard. Uh, I'm a parts dealer for a couple different vendors, so TB Parts, get you a stroker uh, engine build kits, uh, big board kits, or anything on tbparts.com. Uh, I deal for Wholesale Cycle out of Ohio. I'm a dealer. I'm on their website. Uh, that I, I focus on the engines, so it's the import Chinese engines that I sell, uh, which are popular with swapping into all these uh, Honda Minis. Uh, that would be like a Lifen, uh, Zongshen, YX, Piranha, YCF, uh, Daytona, four valve engines. Uh, so get you a price on those. Um, I'm a Honda parts dealer, so I get good pricing on all the available Honda parts that are still useful for uh, the bike restorations or bike builds or repair work. Uh, so I can get creative and uh, get you packages if you just want to get a package to get you set up to build a bike or do repairs. Uh, I can put a package together of all my known good quality parts that all work well uh, and get it shipped out to you. Uh, but anyways, um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll we'll have more videos coming out. Uh, just been really swamped, so it's kind of hasn't been my priority. But I got a lot of good stuff to show videos on, so I'll try to slow things down a little bit and uh, keep some content coming. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe if you don't. Uh, happy New Year to everyone. Thanks.